Yeah, well, Kat, why don't you tell us what the horrors of tornadoes are and how to survive, since this film doesn't 100% show yes. us that. So I know that everyone is wondering, what is a tornado? What, what is it, you know? Um, and a tornado is defined by the National Severe Storms Laboratory as a narrow, violently rotating column of air that extends from a thunderstorm to the ground. Because wind is invisible, it is hard to see a tornado unless it forms a condensation funnel made up of water droplets, dust, and debris. Tornadoes can be among the most violent phenomena of all atmospheric storms we experience. So, cool. Yeah. It is just very... <laughs> it's... Uh, like, I think anything that describes Mother Nature being violent, like weather being violent... Yeah. reasonable to be scary about it it's, it's definitely a scary thing violence is like not positive most of the time yeah uh, if not all the time <laughs> yeah um so what do you what do you do if you find yourself in a case of wind murder like what is the situation uh if you were to find yourself in the vicinity of a tornado there are seven things you should never forget and we thank weather channel for their article seven things you should never forget when tornadoes strike for this information thank you um yeah. Number one. I also just like really like that there's like lists. I just find it helpful. Uh, figure out a safe place to ride out the storm. The following things aren't safe. A mobile home, car, flimsy building, a.k.a. anything built recently. Yeah. Places that are safe. A sturdy building that has been around for a minute and by existing indicates it has survived tougher things than this tornado. <laughs> it has I have reworded some of the, the <laughs> yes. list for yeah. your enjoyment. Um, okay. Number two. Get away from windows and get underground. Windows are your enemy during tornadoes and heavy windfall slash hail. Being near a window puts you at risk for shattered glass or debris hitting you. The safest place is to be as close to the earth's core that you can get. If inside a building, getting to the basement or centering yourself in a building as much as possible is what you should do. The article describes this as putting as many walls between you and the storm as possible. Um, yeah. Because there are incidents... In instances where uh, a tornado will hit and it'll destroy all the outer walls of a house but uh -huh. the inside walls will remain intact because it's like uh not being sucked away by the wind so yeah. it's just to get like as centered as possible and wherever you are didn't they drive through a house yes this? they did they, they did drive through, through a house. house yeah in florida and i thought that was wild for like hurricanes <laughs> you tape the windows so that they won't mm -hmm. shatter um, but I don't know if that, like, you're just supposed to be away from windows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, like, taping helps, but being away from them is the smartest thing to do, just in case they were to shatter. Um, number three, if a tornado appears while you're on the road, get out of your car and get as far from it as possible. The tornado can use your car as a projectile to attack <laughs> you. So avoiding this is ideal. Find yes. a ditch, as Gabe said, and lower yourself Woo. as much as possible, covering your head. Never go under an overpass that or, bridge. or a bridge. Don't do because it can, the debris will fall on you. Yeah. Bridges are not very sturdy. Yeah. Like they are literally just like, like stood up with physics yeah. and if knocked a certain way, will collapse. So yeah. being yeah. under one Don't is not it. smart, mm -hmm. essentially. You want to find a ditch, you want to hide in the ditch. You want to cover your head, which is kind of what they did when they were in the flimsy shelter. The danger with the flimsy shelter, though, is that like the walls can act as projectiles and everything in that building can act as projectiles. Yeah. So it's safer to be in an outside ditch than it would be to be where they were. Yeah. Um, I thought the next one, number four, was pretty like something I just totally did not consider. Put on your shoes and a helmet. Um, this is one that just did not even occur to me. But if... You notice that the weather is getting bad. Putting your shoes on could save you after the fallout of a storm where you might have to walk through debris, nails, glass shards, and splintered wood. Mm -hmm. um, it also recommends putting on like a bike helmet or any kind of helmet as head trauma is common if you take a direct hit from debris that the tornado is like thrown around. Um, I do not own a bike helmet, so not. I don't think Maybe. I am at imminent risk of wind attack but maybe we'll buy one now that this has made been Just made apparent case. to me 
Um, I remember this one, number five, keep your pets on a leash or a carrier and bring them with you. When we were watching the film and they just straight up left the dog yeah. when they could have picked up the dog. I was upset. Because it was little. So, it was little dog. Yeah, like, that's a blow away in the wind dog. Like, I think all dogs will blow away in the wind, but this is a little dog. Little dog is not going to, through its weight and gravity, stay on the earth. So <laughs> you need to pick up your animals and take them with you. They're a part of your family. Um, and honestly, if you don't consider them part of your family, don't have pets. Like, you yeah. need to take care of them. They're not just, like, expendable little thingamabobs. They're not stuffed. Like, they're alive and have emotions, and you don't want them to die. Just feel yeah. like... The aunt in, like, later, who's the actress who plays the grandma in True Blood, she had her dog with her. Mm -hmm. She kept her. And he was able to help her because he barked. Yeah, they are able to get the dog out. And, like, he, yeah, he barked to, like, indicate where she was, which is, like, a big deal. So take your pets with you. Don't be bad. Yeah. Save your friends. Uh, number six, don't leave your home and try to drive away from a tornado. This is another instance where cars are not what you want to be doing. That's why I think the fact that they use cars to chase these tornadoes is crazy. Yeah. Um, it does say in the articles that their cars could, like... That if it was this the level of tornado that they mentioned, that their car would have just been, like, flung. Like, they would not mm -hmm. be just chilling there. Yeah. So tornadoes can love cars. Being a car is not a good place to be. Uh, tornadoes also shift quickly, and being stuck in traffic or even being perpendicular to the tornado could result in you being unexpectedly swept away because they shift position. Mm -hmm. Being in a house is much safer. Being in a ditch is much safer. Like, abandon your vehicle. Yeah. Kind of like when we saw on the wave, like the car and the traffic is only going to get in the way of you getting to where you need to be. We have yeah. legs or the ability, like hopefully, like you need to find a way, mm -hmm. even wheelchair rolling your way out of there. You need to like get away from your car. Mm -hmm. um, number seven, know your severe weather terms. So there's a bunch of different terms for the kinds of watches that exist for Tornadoes, so you have a severe thunderstorm watch. That means conditions are conducive to the development of severe thunderstorms in and around your area. Um, they can produce hail at least three-fourths of an inch in diameter and or wind gusts for at least 58 miles per hour. Severe thunderstorm warning is issued when a severe thunderstorm has been observed by spotters or indicated on radar, and it's, like, imminent. So... Mm -hmm. Basically, like, it's happening. Tornado watch conditions are favorable for the development of severe thunderstorms and multiple tornadoes, tornadoes in and around the area is, like, on watch. People in the affected areas are encouraged to be as vigilant, vigilant and prepared as possible. Tornado warning. A tornado has been seen. It has been spotted. It is on the radar. It's on its way. It's coming it for you. It is on its way. It has your number. <laughs> yes. So bathtub in Gabe's case with mattress. Yeah. Yes. Smart. You need to get is like far away from. That's also why they say basement because you want to be away from windows. Mm -hmm. um, and there generally aren't a lot of windows in your basement. Uh, so after that list, now we know what to do. Why are they scary and how likely are they to affect us? Um, basically, the reason that they're scary is that there's no running from them for real. Like. If your house exists in the light of a tornado, there's no way to, like, pick up your house and go. Um, there's also this unpredictability that plays a role since there's not a lot of uh, time to react. Like, you can kind of be aware that it's possible, but if a tornado lands directly on your house... There's not much you can do to save your house. Like, you can potentially save yourself, but, the, like, the damage will have been done at that point. Um... And the tracking itself is less fine-tuned than other storms. So, like, we don't have as much ability to track in a precise way exactly where tornadoes are going to land. Um, and the formation can happen unexpectedly. Uh, and the damage can remove a roof, throw a car, destroy a neighborhood. Uh, the severity of the storm is, like, it, very large. It can destroy a lot of things. Yeah, and the fact that we can't even say how strong it is until it's happened. Yeah. It's like, oh, that was bad. <laughs> now we know. And it's like, yeah, you don't know if it's like tornado that moves a few carts in a Walmart parking lot or a tornado that can like destroy mm -hmm. everything in its path. Um, so in an article, How Do Tornadoes Form by NOAA 
Skylinks all weather. Skylinks all about weather. Uh, it kind of depend. It kind of goes into depend on where you're located. So there are lots of areas where a tornado, like anywhere, a tornado can happen. But there are areas that are more like common for them to happen. Specifically, my guess is because it's like flat. Mm -hmm. uh, so the U.S. seems to be a hotbed for tornadoes with over a thousand recorded each year. Specifically okay. in Tornado Alley, located in the Midwest. While any state is able to have tornadoes, some states are hit harder. Specifically in 2011, Alabama was struck with an EF5 tornado, which is classified as the most intense a tornado can be. Um, and like now that you kind of like, how can you realistically prepare for something so sudden? Like we gave you the list, but it's something that, like understanding the path and how it's set up is important. So knowing that like areas that you're in are more susceptible. There are conditions that make tornadoes more likely to occur. Uh, the kicker is it's hard to tell when, where, how intense, or how many tornado tornadoes a thunderstorm can create. So the conditions that are ripe for tomato tornadoes, I, I keep almost saying tomatoes, and I know <laughs> I don't I don't know why my mouth just, like, just can't say words. Uh, tornadoes, when the air becomes very unstable, the winds hit at different altitudes, blowing in different directions or at different speeds. A condition called wind shear, um, and the first result is a large thunderstorm. Inside a huge thundercloud, warm and humid air is rising while cool air is falling along with rain or hail. All these conditions can result in rolling, spinning air currents inside of a cloud. Although the spinning column of air starts out horizontal, it can easily go vertical and drop down out of the cloud. When it touches the ground, it's a tornado. It is a big problem to do anything within its path. Uh, the wind inside the spinning column of some tornadoes are the fastest of any on Earth. They have been clocked at over 300 miles per hour. Sometimes the spinning column of air lifts off the ground and touches back down some distance along its path. It's very, like, willy-nilly. Like, it kind of goes yeah. wherever it wants to go. Uh, and there's some instances where it'll destroy one person's house and not the house directly next to it because it goes up, comes back down. Um so it like, I guess if you're trying to rationalize it, it's like, why us? Like, why did it hit our house, not their house? Um, why does this exist in the first place? Yeah. Um, and it makes me think of Avatar The Last Airbender because I feel like people gave Aang a lot of crap about like needing the other elements because airbenders like can't murder good. And that's not true. Like wind is very powerful. Yeah. I think that's evident with the existence of tornadoes that they can just destroy things like so quick. Yeah. So it just reminded me of that. I just remember like I watched with my brother recently and he was like, Aang needs to learn the other elements because like air doesn't do enough. And I was like, nah, air can mess. You can just steal Sit the air out of someone's lungs. Twister. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? We're going to pause Avatar. We're going to put on the <laughs> Twister and you're going to learn to respect nature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, respect air. Respect and it's just like, elements. yeah, you can be very powerful with air. You don't see till Korra that it can be made into like a giant tornado, I think. But like, that's a thing. You can literally steal the air out of somebody's lungs. That's mm -hmm. not that that happens in a tornado. But specifically, <laughs> they gave him a lot of slack or uh, like flack, I guess is the yeah. correct <laughs> term. Uh, it just rhymes. Uh, but like they gave him a lot of flack where it was like, you need all these other ones because air is not going to cut it. And I don't think that that's true based on the information that I've been given through this adventure. Mm -hmm. Air is very powerful. It's and very if anything, scary. it's the mo most channeled and stressful element that seems to exist. Yeah, I'm I also think scared because of wave, but air. They're so. kind of like long too. Like with earthquakes, it's like you can still have them. Like they, you get like the afterquakes. Uh -huh. and things like that that you have to worry about but it's like tornadoes it's just like they're like hopping around and it's like you don't uh -huh. know how many, like you even said you don't know how many are going to be in that one thunderstorm yeah i can't and like, imagine insurance in thunder alley or a tornado alley yeah and it's just scary yeah because it's like if you're existing in these places that like it could happen and at least like if you have tornado insurance you can rebuild but like that's a process of itself how long are you going to be without your home mm-hmm like what it like it's a big thing to consider i guess in like settling in these areas and it's just scary yeah for big it talk is. it's just scary because it could destroy everything 
It's big, strong. It's big, strong, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I, I really enjoyed this series. I think it, it was really different <laughs> to do. Yeah. Um, it was something we wanted to do for a long time, so I'm glad we finally got to do it. Uh, but it definitely reignited some fears and had me realizing, like, how many natural disasters I have actually survived and, like, you know, being thankful yeah. for that um, and knowing that there's a lot of people who are still – being hurt like this is not something that just goes away it's not like and it's actively getting worse because of climate change and because of the way that we treat the environment so uh it we're only gonna have worse things to deal with in the coming time so um i think it's super important for people to be knowledgeable in this so i'm hoping that you know you listeners and viewers get something out of this like you're entertained by the films but like that we are similar to Japan Sinks and uh, Twister in that we're entertaining you and also telling you (laughs) what to do and telling you the importance of science and like geology and meteorology like (laughs) go to school do it that'd be cool also just like be respectful of the planet Mm -hmm. it is doing stuff and we need to make sure that it does not murder us all so be nice to it like yes. by taking care of it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that was that's uh, our natty's asters. So I'm gonna call I refuse them for the rest to say of my it. life. You gotta say it once. <laughs> no. For me. Come on, just one, one time. Natty's da- zasters is that yeah. what you're <laughs> yes. Ridiculous. Like natty light. You know, yeah, you know? I, 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 mean, I, I got it immediately. The connection. <laughs> I just I'm glad it's not stupid. Very ridiculous. I mean, it's stupid, but not like yeah. un- ununderstandable stupid. Um, yeah, excellent. I get it. Yeah. I get it. That closes out that uh, next month we're doing a mental health. Bit more. Yeah. Uh, you know, serious. This is serious, too. But like um, hopefully have fun, but also educate and inform. It's Mental Health Awareness mm-hmm. Month. Uh, for May and so we want to be intentional about what we're going to talk about so be stay tuned for that we have some really good like mind trip <laughs> like films that hopefully do a good job of, of, of evoking empathy and putting you into the shoes of protagonists and understanding the severity of certain mental health issues and hopefully, you know, inspiring compassion for that. Uh, mm-hmm. And also like to talk about the real things that people are dealing with. Um, and so we'll also like, we'll have some guests and then it'll also just be us. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this series. If you have, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, leave us a comment. If you have survived a tornado or if you know things about tornadoes you want to tell us, uh, we would love to hear hear from you. So please shoot us an email yes. if you'd like, thegoolsnextdoor at gmail.com and let us know what your experiences are. Cool. Well, don't get married. Don't get married. Your kids, your kids, or your kids will fight tornadoes. Yeah, because you got yeah, because you got blown away. But your hat was on. Yeah, he could have just like stepped back because they weren't getting blown away. Yeah, he could have just let the door do the door. Like even when the door went, he was like he could have just jumped down. He could have just stayed down. (laughs) Sorry, Dad. I don't know your needless death. It was there to inspire this heroic meteorologist who is going to chase, chase storms and avenge your Nice. Nice. For wind murder. Well, yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.